Jacob Hess here with NGT Academy, and I'm with from Cisco Systems. Now, Pete, you're an architect, right, for the IoT business unit, is it? That's right, yeah, that's right. All right, awesome. Can you tell us a little bit about Cisco's initiatives across IoT? And I guess, uh, first off, you know, a minute ago, we were having a good conversation about, you know, why we have this specialized equipment here, this industrial equipment. Yeah. Um, maybe that's a good place to start. Yeah, so what we have here is, you know, our IoT portfolio from our IoT business unit. But like we were just talking about, IoT is maybe, you know, not the not the most ideal name because from our customer's perspective, we're already dealing with, you know, industrial networking to support their key line of businesses. So that's right from kind of manufacturing environments, you know, utility networking where it's, it's critical infrastructure services where uptime is super important, cybersecurity is super important, of course. You know, every, everything from like moving trains at 250 miles an hour to, you know, something like this, an industrial router in a traffic intersection, right? So you see a traffic light, a traffic intersection, traffic signals. Behind the scenes, there's a box like this providing, you know, kind of a tier two back to the traffic management center, you know, doing in VPN tunnels to keep it all secure. But like we were just talking about, right? I was here in Vegas with a local uh, customer. We opened, a, we opened a traffic cabinet with a thermometer, and that soccer was at like, I think 160 Fahrenheit, right? Because Vegas is wow. hot, Vegas is hot. So, you know, a regular enterprise uh, router or switch from the Cisco portfolio is gonna be great in the carpeted space in an air-conditioned closet, it's gonna, it's gonna crush it, but if you're talking about surviving in a roadside cabinet at those kind of temperatures, we really need to build dedicated hardware, right? And we paint a lot of our boxes black, Black is cool, but the reason we paint them black is elementary physics, right? Black is an awesome color for helping to radiate the heat and keep things cool. Got it, got it. I would yeah. actually have thought of it the other way because I thought that the black attracts the heat, but it's not that way. So well, it's 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 both. It attracts heat, but in a in a if, so if you had a black box in the sunlight, it would be absorbing heat. But a black box inside, you know, out the sun, it's going to radiate heat better. But that's exactly why our our some of our white devices they're actually outdoor boxes. They're going to be that's going to be mounted, you know, put up utility pole. It's going to be outdoors, and therefore white's now radiating the heat exactly to your point. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and let, we'll take a look at some of the wireless stuff too, because it looks very ruggedized, right? Yeah. But as yeah. you were just talking about, yeah, the core network equipment, like the LAN equipment, right? Yeah, yeah. That's also ruggedized. Let's have a look at one Absolutely. of these guys. So this is our this is our latest switch. It's a Catalyst IE9300, and we're really proud of this. This is the first time we've taken a full enterprise chipset from our colleagues over at Enterprise and put it in rugged form factor. So this is this is the full catalyst chipset, the full kind of set of capabilities there in terms of even as even as far as software defined access fabric edge. But again, we can run this, you know, very, very high temperatures, no fans, no moving parts, it's incredibly rugged, which is exactly what our customers need to operate in their environments. Because before we had this kind of stuff, somebody just might try to install a regular switch and then yes. hey, they go check on it the next day and wealth is melted. Yeah, <laughs> so you know, we, we, we luckily have some really good fans in our products and they can do they can do good work, but they can only do so much work. Right, 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 right. right. That, that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for showing yeah. us the switch. That's okay. really cool. No problem. Yeah, let's check out some of the, sure. some of the wireless stuff here. Yep. And you can just speak on that a bit. You were saying that's the reason why they're painted white, because yes. these are actually in the sunlight. Yeah, these are outdoors in the sunlight and in all the weather. So all of our white devices here are IP67 rated, which is exactly why we've got this little demonstration here. We've actually got it, you know, with a, with a water fountain. Uh, these guys have to operate in really tough conditions. So again, we're talking about like negative 40 to plus 70 centigrade. So big temperature range, all elements, all outside. So when we kind of total one of these guys, we've got big O-ring seals around it, okay? Right, and this is a this is a cellular modem. So if we take a regular kind of cellular modem, we take the same thing, but we have to put it in a much kind of stronger um, package, you know, an environmental ceiling uh, to have this kind of outdoors in, in all weathers doing a great job. So this is going to provide 4G, 5G connectivity. Again, like we were saying, typically installed up a big utility pole, providing secure networking for utilities networks. So this is the heavy duty series router. So this is a router, router yes. Inside there. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, but this is a router. Right, right. There's a router in there. <laughs> yeah. and so that will also provide us with LAN access too, wireless yes, LAN access. Absolutely, And then yeah. cellular connectivity to the internet or VPNs or what have you. Yeah, it's, it's really important for us that we have a lot of modularity in here. So this is true of the, of the white outdoor boxes it's true of these boxes as well so you know you can you can for example have here you can have a 4g module and then maybe in a year's time you're 5g ready you just replace it with a 5g module and, and you're ready to go similarly here 
Wi-Fi 6, right? So the whole modularity for us is really important for our customers because it's a big investment for them to put some of these things out in the field. Um, we don't want to have them to do a complete box refresh, but they may want to, you know, a couple of years into the life cycle of that product, do a, you know, a refresh to give them, you know, 5G connectivity, for right. example. Or even on so, the Wi-Fi 6, right? Yeah. I know you got Wi-Fi 6 E now, right? So you could, yes. you could have an E, e <laughs> That's right. right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Probably not an E card right there. Right? <laughs> so yeah, so the modularity is important, and the fact that you know, uh, you can you can like build out over time, uh, even even something as you know simple as this, right, where we have a backup battery. So a, not many of our products have a backup battery, but again, in the utility context, if we had a power outage this box could actually be supporting critical electrical equipment that, you know, like turn the grid on and off. So here we have one backup battery, we can actually stack three of these up for several hours runtime. So even in a power outage, the utility themselves can still remote connect in over cellular to actually turn things on and off to bring service back to their customers. So this is, this is the kind of capability we have in our industrial portfolio that you not find anywhere else in Cisco. And this, folks, this kind of technology is why we can have our networks on all the time, right? It just goes to, goes to show you yeah. the most important thing is that our connectivity never dies. For sure, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, Pete. This has been a great presentation. Thanks, Jacob. Jacob Hess here. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I'd also like to remind you, if you're truly serious about your career in information technology, then be sure to check out our IT engineer training programs at www.02engineer.com.